In this video, we're going to look at the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. So the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation is a, it's a relatively simple equation that's derived from the Ka equation that allows us to calculate directly the, concentra the pH of a buffer solution knowing A- minus and HA. So from the concentration of A- minus and the concentration of HA, and if you know the Ka, we can get a pH. So let's take a look at how this is derived. So if you start with Ka is equal to the concentration of H3O plus times the concentration of A minus over the concentration of HA. And we're going to derive this generally, but you can uh, apply this to any acid or base. What we're going to do is, we're, I'm sorry, any acid I should say. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take the negative log of both sides. We're going to take the negative log of Ka and we're going to take the negative log of the H3O plus times the A minus uh, divided by the HA. And so uh, what's going to happen on the left is this is going to become the pKa. And then on the right, we can uh, extract out some things. So on the right, what we can do is we can take the uh, negative log. And when we do that, we can do some log rules. So we can say the negative log of the concentration of H3O plus and then we can separate that out from the A minus and the HA. Because if you remember from log rules, things that are multiplied together are uh, can be taken out and put into an addition. So we can say that log of H3O plus plus the log of A minus over HA. So if we distribute the negative sign, we get pKa is equal to the negative log of the H3O plus We can say that the, the so we get that pKa is equal to the negative log of the H3O plus uh, minus the log of A minus over HA. And so if we reorganize this, uh, well, first thing we can do is we can actually convert this into a pH. So we can say that pKa is equal to the pH minus the log of A minus over HA. And then if we reorganize this finally, if we bring the negative log over and we add it to the left hand side, we get that pH is equal to the pKa plus the log of A minus over HA. So let's talk about some consequences of the Henderson Hasselbalch equation so that we kind of understand what's going on here. So what's interesting about the Henderson Hasselbalch, and let's let's take for example acetic acid, and if you look at the pKa for acetic acid, it's at around 4.7. Uh, so the pKa for acetic acid. So if you take the negative log of the Ka uh, for acetic acid, which is around 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5, you get a pKa of about 4.77. And so we know now that the pH is going to equal in this case for acetic acid is going to equal the is going to equal this pKa which is 4.77 plus the log of a minus over HA. So now we're doing a specific example where this is acetic acid. So in the case of acetic acid, our pH range is going to be close to this 4.7 area. We're going to, you know, as we change the A minus and the HA, that's going to change. But um, it's going to be close to this uh, 4.77. So now let's look at a couple of possibilities. Let's look at the first possibility where the concentration of A minus equals the concentration of HA. So what would happen if we had, for example, 0 0.1 molar HA and 0 0.1 molar A minus? What would happen there? So in this case, uh, if you were to plug that in uh, and you were to take the log of 1, which would be uh, 0 0.1 over 0 0.1, this is going to equal 0. So in, at, when, in the case where A minus is equal to HA, pH is simply equal to pKa, or in this case is equal to 4.77. So that's a very interesting thing that, that happens. when Basically, when you have equal amounts of acid and base, the pH simply equals the pKa. 
Uh, and this is going to become important um, when we do titration curves, and we'll see that uh, we'll see that uh, down the road. But right now, this is why when we talked about pH range, we talked about the pH range being related to Ka to Ka because the Ka um, is going to sort of set the fundamental um, range for the buffer where when we have equal amounts of acid and base, we're going to get that pKa as the pH. Now let's look at the case where we have maybe a little bit more base than acid. So in this case, the log is going to be greater than 1. So we're going to take the log of something greater than 1. And this is going to give us a, uh, a positive. And so what's going to happen is, is the pH is going to become greater than the pKa. And that makes sense. We have more base hanging around. And so our pH is slightly alkaline relative to the pKa. So if we add a little bit more A minus, that's going to shift us in the basic direction relative to uh, Ka. Now, in the case where we have a little bit more acid, our concentration of HA is, is greater than the concentration of A minus. We have a little bit more acid hanging around. This is going to give us a log of less than 1, which is going to equal a negative number. And so in this case, pH is going to become less than pKa. And that makes sense again. If you have more acid, we're going to be uh, slightly more acidic than our pKa. And so our pH goes down relative to the pKa. So depending on these relative ratios of A minus and HA, we can actually control the pH directly um, and tune it rel relative to that pKa. So the pKa is kind of the fundamental. And then we tune that fundamental depending on the, re the relative concentrations of A minus and HA. Thank you.